My dear friends, welcome to this sacred space we have created together, a space where we embark on a transformative journey towards self-mastery guided by the unwavering light of self-love and self-compassion. Today, we gather to explore the profound depths of self-control, a quality that is often misunderstood and shrouded in misconceptions. For too long, we have been taught that self-control is a rigid, unyielding force, a harsh taskmaster that demands unwavering obedience and self-denial. But what if we were to reframe our understanding of this essential aspect of personal growth? What if self-control was not a whip to drive us forward, but a gentle compass guiding us towards our highest potential, our truest expression of self? True self-control arises not from self-punishment or self-deprivation, but from a deep wellspring of self-acceptance and self-love. When we embrace our inherent worthiness, when we treat ourselves with kindness and compassion, we create the fertile ground from which genuine self-mastery can blossom. Take a moment to reflect on the way you speak to yourself internally. Are your inner dialogues laced with criticism and judgment, or do they emanate from a place of understanding and encouragement? Remember the words we use to address ourselves have immense power. They shape our reality and our capacity for self-control. Today, I invite you to make a conscious choice to shift yourself to towards greater positivity and affirmation. Whenever you catch yourself engaging in negative self-talk, gently acknowledge those thoughts and then replace them with words of kindness and empowerment. I am worthy. I am capable. I embrace my true self. These simple affirmations can profoundly impact your sense of self-worth and your ability to cultivate self-control. For self-control is not a rigid set of rules imposed upon us. It is a natural outgrowth of our commitment to our highest good. When we truly love and accept ourselves, we naturally desire to make choices that align with our deepest values and aspirations. We no longer need to rely on willpower alone for our actions become an expression of our innermost truth. Imagine yourself as a skilled artist, carefully crafting the masterpiece that is your life. Each choice you make, each habit you cultivate, is a brushstroke adding depth and richness to the canvas. With self-control as your steadying hand, you can create a life that is a true reflection of your authentic self a life that resonates with purpose, meaning, and joy. But how, you may ask, do we develop this self-control? The answer lies in the power of mindfulness and presence. Too often we operate on autopilot, allowing our days to slip by in a haze of distraction and reactive living by cultivating a practice of mindfulness, we reclaim our ability to make conscious choices that align with our highest intentions. Take a deep breath and bring your awareness to the present moment. Feel the sensation of your body, the rhythm of your breath. Whenever you find your mind wandering, gently guide it back to the here and now. This simple act of mindful presence creates a space within which self-control can flourish. As you move through your day, approach each task, each interaction with the same mindful presence. Before reacting or succumbing to impulse, pause, breathe, and then choose the path that serves your highest good. This is the essence of self-control, not a rigid adherence to rules, but a conscious alignment with your deepest values and aspirations Remember, self-control is not a destination to be reached, but a journey to be savored. There will be moments of challenge, times when our resolve wavers, 
but in these moments return to the wellspring of self-love and self-accept. Treat yourself with the same kindness and compassion you would extend to a beloved friend or family member. Celebrate your victories, no matter how small they may seem. For each act of self-control, each conscious choice, is a step towards a life of greater fulfillment and authenticity. And when you stumble or fall short of your aspirations, do not instead offer yourself the gift of understanding and a renewed commitment to your journey. Throughout this transformative path, remember that you are never alone. We are all fellow travelers, each navigating our own unique paths, yet united in our shared humanity. Seek out like-minded companions, those who can offer support, encouragement, and accountability. For self-control is not a solitary pursuit. It is a collaborative journey, enriched by the wisdom and love of those around us. One of the most powerful allies on the path to self-control is the practice of self-forgiveness. Too often we cling to past mistakes, past missteps, allowing them to define our present and limit our potential. But what if, instead of carrying the weight of these transgressions, we choose to release them with love and compassion? Imagine a child who has spilled their juice, tears welling in their eyes as they look to you for guidance. Would you berate them, punish them for their mistake, or would you offer them a gentle embrace, a reassuring reminder that mistakes are part of the learning process and that they are still worthy of love and acceptance? Now turn that same compassionate gaze inward towards the parts of yourself that carry the burden of past missteps. Offer these tender aspects of your being the same kindness and understanding you would extend to that child. For it is through self-forgiveness that we liberate ourselves from the shackles of regret and self-judgment, creating the space for true self-control to flourish. As you walk this path of self-forgiveness, you may encounter resistance, voices within that cling to the familiar terrain of self-criticism and self-doubt. In these moments, remember the power of affirmations to reshape your inner landscape. Speak words of love and acceptance to yourself, such as I release the past with compassion and I embrace the present with an open heart, or I am worthy of forgiveness, and I choose to move forward with grace. Through the consistent practice of self-forgiveness, you cultivate an unshakable inner foundation of self-acceptance and self-love, the bedrock upon which genuine self-control can thrive. Furthermore, let us explore the transformative power of emotional awareness and emotional intelligence in our quest for self-mastery. For too long, we have been conditioned to suppress, ignore, or even shame our emotions, viewing them as weaknesses or distractions from our goals. But what if we were to shift our perspective and embrace our emotions as profound sources of wisdom and guidance? What if instead of denying or resisting our feelings, we learn to navigate them with compassion and curiosity? Take a moment to tune into the present landscape of your emotional experience. What sensations arise within you? What emotions are present? perhaps simmering beneath the surface. Instead of judging or pushing these feelings away, simply acknowledge their existence with an open and accepting heart. As you cultivate this practice of emotional awareness, you may discover a wellspring of insight and understanding that has been hidden from view. For our emotions are not obstacles, to be overcome, but rather signposts pointing us towards our deepest needs, our most authentic selves. When we approach our emotions with curiosity and compassion, we create the space for self-control to emerge organically. 
Instead of reacting impulsively to the ebb and flow of our feelings, we can choose to respond from a place of conscious awareness and alignment with our highest intentions. Perhaps you find yourself experiencing frustration or anger in a particular situation. Rather than lashing out or suppressing these emotions, pause, breathe deeply, and allow yourself to fully experience the sensations without judgment. Ask yourself, what is this feeling trying to communicate to me? What unmet need or desire lies beneath the surface? As you explore these questions with an open heart, you may uncover profound insights. Insights that can guide you towards making choices that honor your true self while also acknowledging the complex tapestry of emotions that weave through the human experience. And when you find yourself caught in the grip of intense emotions, remember the power of affirmations to anchor you in the present moment and guide you towards a state of greater equilibrium. Repeat soothing phrases to yourself such as, I choose peace over, or I am the master of my emotions, not their slave. Through the consistent practice of emotional awareness and emotional intelligence, you cultivate a profound self-understanding, a deep knowing of your own inner landscape that serves as a powerful foundation for self-control and self-mastery. As we continue our journey together, let us turn our attention to the transformative power of positivity and optimism. Too often, we find ourselves mired in negative thought patterns, doubts, and limiting beliefs that undermine our capacity for self-control and personal growth. But what if we consciously chose to shift our perspective towards the light? What if, instead of dwelling on what is lacking or what has gone wrong, we focused our attention on the abundance that surrounds us, the limitless potential that lies within each moment. Take a deep breath and allow the following affirmation to resonate within you. I choose to embrace a positive mindset, for it is a gateway to boundless growth and fulfillment. With each repetition of this powerful statement, you plant the seeds of optimism and hopefulness within your consciousness. Seeds that will blossom into a vibrant garden of self-control and self-mastery. One of the most insidious obstacles to self-control is the habit of catastrophizing, the tendency to imagine the worst possible outcome in any given situation. When we engage in this negative thought pattern, we create a self-fulfilling prophecy of fear, anxiety, and paralysis. But what if, instead of dwelling on hypothetical worst-case scenarios, we consciously shifted our focus towards envisioning the best possible outcome? What if we allowed ourselves to dream, to hope, to envision a future infused with possibility and potential? Imagine yourself in a challenging situation perhaps a difficult conversation, a daunting task, or a significant life transition. Instead of fixating on all that could go wrong, take a few deep breaths and ask yourself, what is the most positive and empowering outcome I can envision? Allow your mind to explore this possibility, to vividly imagine the sense of accomplishment, the feeling of inner peace and self-control that would arise from navigating the situation with grace and wisdom. As you hold this positive vision in your mind's eye, feel the energy of optimism and hopefulness permeate your being. When we approach life's challenges from this place of positive expectation, we open ourselves to a world of new possibilities. Self-control becomes not a struggle against our impulses, but a natural expression of our commitment to manifesting our highest aspirations. And when you find yourself slipping into negative thought patterns or self-doubt, 
Remember the power of affirmations to course correct your mindset. Speak words of encouragement to yourself, such as, I choose to focus on the positive, for it is the path to self-mastery, or I am filled with hope and possibility, and I trust in my ability to navigate life's challenges with grace. Through the consistent practice of positive thinking and optimistic visioning, you cultivate an unshakable inner foundation of self-belief and self-trust, the bedrock upon which genuine self-control can flourish. Furthermore, let us explore the profound role that self-care plays in our journey toward self-mastery. Too often, we neglect our own well-being in the relentless pursuit of productivity and achievement only to find ourselves depleted, overwhelmed, and lacking the inner resources necessary for self-control. But what if we were to approach self-care not as a luxury or an indulgence, but as a sacred practice, a means of honoring the divine vessel that houses our spirit and allows us to fully express our potential in this world? Take a moment to reflect on your current self-care practices. Are you nurturing your physical body with nourishing sustenance and gentle movement? Are you tending to your emotional and mental well-being through practices of mindfulness, creativity, or connection with loved ones? Are you feeding your spirit through moments of stillness, introspection, and appreciation for the beauty that surrounds you? If you find yourself lacking in any of these areas, do not berate yourself. Instead, approach this awareness with compassion and a renewed commitment to prioritizing your overall well-being. Imagine yourself as a beautifully crafted vessel filled to the brim with the life force energy that fuels your journey. Each time you engage in an act of self-care, whether it be a nourishing meal, a restorative yoga practice, or a quiet moment of meditation, you reinforce the structural integrity of that vessel, preventing leaks and cracks that could drain your precious resources. When we approach self-care from this place of reverence and self-love, we create a solid foundation upon which self-control can thrive. For how can we expect to navigate life's challenges with grace and equanimity if we are operating from a state of depletion and exhaustion? Remember, self-care is not a luxury. It is a necessity, an act of profound self-love that empowers us to show up fully in every aspect of our lives. As you prioritize your well-being, notice the shifts that occur within. Observe how your mind becomes clearer, your emotions more balanced, and your spirit more buoyant. From this place of wholeness and centeredness, self-control becomes not a struggle, but a natural expression of your commitment to honoring the sacred vessel that is your physical emotional, and spiritual being. And when you find yourself tempted to neglect your self-care practices in favor of other demands, remember the power of affirmations to realign your priorities. Greek words of truth to yourself, such as my well-being is essential, for it is the foundation upon which my self-control and self-mastery are built, or I choose to honor my mind, body, and spirit through acts of self-care, for in doing so, I empower myself to live my highest potential. Through the consistent practice of self-care, you create a fertile ground for self-control to take root and flourish, nourished by the deep wells of self-love and self-respect that permeate your being. As we continue to delve into the depths of self-mastery, let us turn our attention to the transformative power of gratitude. Often, when we are caught in the throes of striving and achievement, we lose sight of the abundance that already surrounds. But what if we intentionally shifted our focus 
towards appreciating the countless blessings that grace our lives each day. Gratitude is not simply a fleeting emotion. It is a potent practice that can profoundly shape our relationship with ourselves, with others, and with the world around us. When we approach life from a place of appreciation and thankfulness, we open ourselves to a wellspring of joy, resilience, and inner strength, qualities that are essential for cultivating self-control. Christian begin by taking a few moments each day to consciously reflect on the gifts that adorn your life. Perhaps it is the beauty of nature that surrounds you, the love and support of cherished friends and family, or the simple pleasures of good health and nourishing sustenance. Whatever it may be, allow yourself to fully experience the gratitude that arises within you, savoring the warmth and expansiveness that it brings. As you cultivate this practice, notice how your perspective begins to shift. The challenges and obstacles that once seemed insurmountable now appear as opportunities for growth and transformation. Your capacity for self-control becomes not a burden, but a natural expression of your thankfulness for the gift of life itself. For when we approach each moment, each task, each interaction with a heart overflowing with gratitude, we imbue our actions with a sense of purpose and meaning. Self-control is no longer a struggle against our impulses, but a conscious choice to honor the abundance that surrounds us, to cherish and protect the blessings we have been given. Furthermore, the practice of gratitude can serve as a powerful antidote to the self-doubt and negative self-talk that so often undermine our efforts towards self-mastery. When we consciously shift our focus towards appreciating our innate strengths, our unique gifts, and the progress we have already made, we cultivate a deep sense of self-acceptance and self-worth. Imagine how freeing it would be to release the constant inner critic and instead approach yourself with a spirit of thankfulness and appreciation. Thank you, body, for carrying me through each day with resilience and grace. Thank you, mind, for your curiosity and ability to learn and grow. Thank you, spirit, for your unwavering guidance towards my highest truth. As you speak these words of gratitude, feel the weight of self-judgment dissolve replaced by a profound sense of self-love and self-accept from this place of wholeness and centeredness. Self-control becomes not a struggle, but a natural expression of your commitment to honoring the gifts that life has bestowed upon you. And when you find yourself struggling with feelings of lack or dissatisfaction, remember the power of affirmations to realign your perspective. Speak words of abundance and thankfulness to yourself, such as I am grateful for the countless blessings that surround me, seen and unseen, or my heart overflows with appreciation for the journey that has brought me to this present moment. Through the consistent practice of gratitude, you cultivate an unshakable inner foundation of joy and contentment the bedrock upon which genuine self-control can thrive, nurtured by a deep reverence for the beauty and abundance that permeate your existence. Moreover, as we traverse the path of self-mastery, let us explore the profound role that self-forgiveness plays in our ability to cultivate self-control. Too often, we cling to past mistakes, past missteps, allowing them to define our present and limit our potential. As we bring our exploration of self-control and self-mastery to a close, let us reflect on the profound wisdom and transformation we have uncovered together.
We have learned that true self-control arises not from self-punishment or rigid rules, but from a deep wellspring of self-love, self-acceptance, and self-compassion. When we nurture our inherent worthiness, treat ourselves with kindness, and embrace our authentic selves, we create the fertile ground from which genuine self-mastery can blossom. Through the practice of mindfulness and presence, we have reclaimed our ability to navigate each moment with conscious choice, responding to life's challenges with grace and wisdom, rather than reacting from a place of impulse or habit. This mindful awareness has empowered us to make choices that align with our highest intentions, imbuing our actions with purpose and meaning. We have explored the profound impact of positive thinking, optimism, and the power of envisioning our desired outcomes, potent tools that have allowed us to approach life's obstacles with hope, resilience, and an unwavering belief in our capacity to succeed. The transformative practices of self-care and self-respect have revealed themselves as essential foundations for self-control. By honoring our physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being, we have fortified the sacred vessels that house our spirits, creating a solid base from which we can fully express our potential. Gratitude has emerged as a powerful ally, shifting our focus towards appreciating the countless blessings that adorn our lives and cultivating a deep sense of contentment and joy, qualities that have empowered us to approach each moment with a spirit of reverence and mindfulness. Perhaps most profoundly, we have embraced the practice of self-forgiveness, releasing the burdens of past transgressions, and allowing ourselves to move forward with grace, compassion, and a renewed commitment to our growth. As we part ways today, carry these teachings within your heart, allowing them to illuminate your path towards a life of greater fulfillment, authenticity, and self-mastery. Remember that self-control is not a destination to be reached, but a continuous unfolding, a journey to be savored, one step at a time. Embrace the challenges that arise along the way, for they are opportunities to deepen your self-knowledge, your resilience, and your commitment to living a life aligned with your deepest values and aspirations, Trust in the infinite wellspring of wisdom that resides within you, for it is this inner guidance that will serve as your steadfast compass, leading you towards the realization of your grandest dreams. And above all, know that you are never alone on this journey. We are all fellow travelers, each navigating our unique paths yet united in our shared humanity. Seek out like-minded companions, those who can offer support, encouragement, and accountability, for self-control is a collaborative endeavor enriched by the wisdom and love of those around us. Go forth with courage, my friends, secure in the knowledge that you possess the inner strength and resilience to cultivate self-control in service of your highest good. All is well, you are capable, and the path ahead is illuminated by the radiant light of your own inner wisdom. Choose thoughts that make you feel good, for in doing so you create the conditions for self-control to blossom from the fertile soil of self-love and self-acceptance. May your journey be one of growth, fulfillment, and ever-deepening self-mastery. For it is through the cultivation of self-control that we unlock our true potential and manifest our grandest visions for ourselves and for the world. Thank you, and may your path be blessed with abundance, joy, and the profound realization of your limitless worth.